This is going to be a start to a video series on how to build a town for your Hot Wheels Matchbox, your 164 scale size car. Welcome back to another Joyride video. I'm going to start this one off here in the garage. My garage is extremely messy right now. It's got pretty much everything piled up in here. The boys power wheels underneath the car. A bunch of other random stuff because we're hoarders. We got the goat cart under there. Power wheels. We got engines piled up over here for the C10. We're only gonna put one of them in there. I don't know, we might be able to fit them both in there. We got the 68 Camaros in the car trailer. And since we are a family car channel, I wanted to share this video with you guys. As I was going out getting a bunch of stuff to make my diorama, my town, Laura was like, you need to vlog this. Why are you not making a video about this? I'm, she's like, I know people would be interested in it. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. Because these on my channel for some reason seem to be the videos that tend to do well. And I don't know why, that's just like with the Power Wheels video, the last diorama video that we made, it was, I think it was two years ago, I built one for Logan, and I've always wanted to build one kind of more, I guess one for myself. But of course, you know, the kids will still play with it, only with adult supervision. But this one's not gonna be really for kids, this one's gonna be a lot more detailed. There's gonna be a lot of detail going into this one. The one we built for Logan, it had, it had, it had some pretty good detail in it. But this one is gonna be on an entire different level. So I have been gathering up a bunch of supplies to build it. And we went to a local Christian school that was basically closed down and they were getting rid of all their desks and tables and a bunch of stuff over there. So we went over there, picked up some things and we're gonna actually build this one on the table. So if anybody else wants to build a diorama, find an old table that you're not using and just use the table as your platform. That's what we're gonna do in this video. And I'm gonna just kind of take you guys along for the journey and share everything with you. But this is actually one of, this isn't what we're using. We're using a bigger table. Well, I'll show you guys the one that we got. I'll actually just kind of pop it up here on the screen. This is one of the school desks. We paid $10 for this thing. And these are the types of desks that I had when I was in school. These things are pretty solid. They're adjustable too. So you need, if you can ro raise it, lower it. And we got this cart for five bucks. So we don't know what we're gonna do with it. And then they gave us that chair right there. It is cold out here. So I'm gonna hop in and show you guys what we got. Uh, Cause I've already been rounding up a bunch of stuff. Earlier today, I went to a local train store and bought a few things. I'll show you guys what I got. Let's just go ahead. Let me just show you guys. So, look at old Laura. What are you working on? Your paperwork. My paperwork. If you guys are wondering, we did take our Christmas tree down the day after Christmas. The reason why you guys see the Christmas tree up now is because we are really big fans of Christmas. So, we decided to put up our tree January 3rd. So we just, we're just early Christmas risers, right? Yeah. We got all this stuff out. This is pretty much, this isn't the table that we're using, but I'll show you guys. This, this right here is basically outdoor carpet. I got this stuff at Lowe's and this is what I, this is actually leftovers from when I built Logan's town. I did pick up this other grass from Michael's. I ordered some off of Amazon as well because I want this one to look more realistic and then I thought about trying to like weather it with like some paint or do some other crazy stuff to it. This is the leftover checkerboard tape that I actually used in the garage. This right here, which is brick and cobblestone. It's just, this right here is actually, we got this from Michael's a couple years ago when we built Logan's town. This was like one of their Christmas stuff for like their Christmas town stuff. So this is seasonal there. I don't know what we're gonna use it for. I mean. We may use it for something. These are leftover trees that I never used in Logan's because they're very delicate and with a four or five year old playing with the town and playing with his cars on it, those things would have just been destroyed. So that's why we never put the trees on it. So we're gonna put the trees on this one. And I've got a bunch of buildings. So we've got, these are actually model kits. So we've got this Grocery store, I don't know what we're gonna turn it into. We may leave it an ace. And then we got this, it's a Kentucky Fried Chicken. We're not gonna make it a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm thinking of making it Splunkers. 
You guys probably don't know what Splunkers are unless you live in the area. Splunkers is a local burger place, and they are amazing. And if you guys have been on the channel long enough, you've probably seen us there a few times. So that's what we're making this place. We're going to turn it into that because it's like one of my favorite places to eat around here. This right here is supposed to be a Dairy Queen, but we are not going to make it a Dairy Queen. We are going to convert this into our local Starbucks. And this one right here, that's not what it is on the cover, but this one is actually going to be my childhood home. I think it has it on the side of the box. That's it right there. It's a trailer park. There's three trailers and a flag. We got a roll of cork right here. The, we actually picked this stuff for, up. I can't even talk right. Probably going to use that for the roads because last time my roads we use chalkboard paint and that worked pretty well. And then I've got this right here. It's like a sand mat. And this big thing over here in the background, I found this at Tractor Supply. It was on sale for $21. And the main thing I want in there is the warehouse. The warehouse that we used in Logan'stown, the one that we built before was actually a John Deere kit that was similar to this. And it was from Tractor Supply as well. Then we've got some paints some acrylic paint, glue, some more paints, this, probably use this for like a garage floor which kind of looks cool, and all this, all these paints and all this was from Hobby Lobby except for these came from Wally World. Oh, and I found, when I was at the uh, train store earlier today, I actually found this covered bridge which was super sweet. And like I said before, we're taking this one to a whole nother level, and this is what I mean by it. all of this right here. This right here is pretty much all of the controls for lights. We're we're lighting this town up. This thing's gonna be lit like a Christmas yeah, tree. Lit like a Christmas tree. <laughs> JD told me to ask you what your plans for this week are. Get lit like a Christmas tree. <laughs> like that's gonna be a new story. This is an expansion hub, so you can add multiple of these, and these are your light hubs. So, and then they're all, they have these like little quick connectors. We've got a pack of these lights. They're all LED. Then we've got these light poles. And all of this, every bit of this was purchased from Amazon. This I got at the train store, I saw it. It's a, it's a light, it's a billboard. You can put whatever you want in there, light it up. It's got a little light underneath that lights up the billboard. Just a little fence. Not sure what I'm gonna use that for yet. Little light up eat signs. Not sure what we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna probably put it next to a restaurant. This is what I used in the previous town. It's actually white pinstriping. And if anybody is wondering what size it is, I went with eighth inch matte pinstripe. It's kind of like what you put on your car. And I'll use that for parking spot lines the side road lines and this is the same thing and all this was off of Amazon too and this is what I'll use for the center road lines yeah it's 3 16 and it's a 150 foot roll so we got a lot of that we got some brushes well that's just the start and some of the supplies that I have gathered up so far to start building this if you guys have any other ideas of things that we should put into it please drop them in the comment section because I would love to hear some of your ideas. Some of you guys may have some ideas that I didn't even think of because I definitely want to probably put like a junkyard in there, a dealership. There's a few other things, right? You got to have like a little police station or something like that. This is going to be a really fun project. I also ordered a few things off of Amazon that still hasn't yet to arrive. But once it gets here, why are you staring at me, Laura? Laura's just over here staring at me because she heard me say order stuff off of Amazon. So she just gave me this look. Free. It didn't cost anything. It was free. Yeah, they have a free section on Amazon in case you guys didn't know that there is. Logan wants to be in it. So as we start building this town, we're going to share with you guys the uh, process, the steps, and everything that we do to it. And what do you want to do? You want to start building? Let's start building. And then uh, we'll update you and see where we're at. Transition them. Look at our town. This room is a little bit of a mess. This is one of the extra rooms in our house, and this is where we're building this at. But this is the table that we got from the Christian school. It's pretty cool. It's got this little drawer right here. You put stuff in. That's nice. One of the coolest things. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you guys caught that video, but we did a video where we built this C10. And I showed how I did it because it actually started, I believe it started like that, right? And then it went to this. Yeah. Yeah, now the only thing we're gonna have to do is go put it in the town. Can I put it in the town? Okay. 
How you doing? Like I said before, the Dairy Queen, we converted that into the Starbucks. So there is our Starbucks. And it has the drive through We haven't attached anything. It's got a little drive through thing right there. So one of the first things that you do is like when you get your board or your table, whatever you build on, usually what I do is I get everything that I want and I lay it out. And then try to get everything to scale or to proportion or whatever. It's not going to be like perfect, but it's going to be close. So like what I did here, I just penciled in like kind of like the drive through to come around right there. And then... You kind of come out right there, park in right there. So then we got our little store over there. It took me a little while to build this thing because I kind of painted a lot of the stuff on the inside of the store. It came out pretty good. I mean, I'm happy with it. So we're setting that over there in that corner. As for the Splunkers, I mean, I got it as close as I could to look like our Splunkers. Now that one right there was probably the hardest one to build between the Starbucks, the store. That one was definitely the hardest and it had a lot of little pieces and stuff like that. These are actually HO scale and if you're not familiar with that, that's a 187 scale and, and your Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Greenlight and all those are a 164 scale. So what I did is because this building actually had this parking lot piece attached there so i cut it off if you look at the parking lot curbs they're not right to proportion and then this piece right here is a garage we actually had this garage before and one of our previous towns it's missing the front doors because i think little man what'd you do with them front doors <laughs> you don't know you lost them so we have this texaco as well right here which we lost the doors the glass these pumps like this part was broke and everything so what I ended up doing because I like the tech I like the Texaco so well and I wanted to keep the Texaco I found this Pennzoil one and I pulled it completely apart pulled the glass out pulled the doors off and took the roof piece and swapped the pumps and basically rebuilt my Texaco there's our auto zone that we had in the last town that we built there's a house and these are actually made out of iPhone boxes those are two iPhone boxes stacked that's one iPhone box with that brick and some sandpaper and wrap you know that's a little crap project but we are not probably going to use these in this town because this town i'm going to try to get a little bit more detail there's our rv park this is another warehouse this is the warehouse i was telling you about that comes with the john deere we still haven't opened that other warehouse but we've got like a little fast and furious garage thing going on in here and then we got all of our car trailers parked over here whenever you do these layouts First thing to do, like I said before, I think I mentioned this, but just lay it all out. Oh yeah, look at that Camaro set. We found that at Walmart. And the square bodies, as a Walmart find from Chevy Tom. What I suggest, if you're gonna build one of these, pretty much just set out your buildings everywhere you want and try to get all your parking spots, draw it out with the pencils, just kind of, just play with it, you know, and see, see how everything kind of lays out and looks and how you like it. When we first started doing it, I complete, I've changed it probably like two or three times. And I'm sure before we're done building it, it's probably going to get changed a lot more. We're going to probably add stuff, move stuff, you know. And what I do is when I build my roads, I always have them come off. So if I want to expand, I can always expand. And that's what I was going to use that covered bridge for somewhere to expand. So I can even scoot another table up to it and then add to it later. So that's what you want. So I got a road that's going to come off here. Check this piece out. This is typically not something that I do, but I saw this on eBay and I thought it was the coolest thing. A guy on eBay actually made this. He's got the little for sale signs and everything. He had a buy it now price and it was pretty reasonable. So I just was like, perfect. We'll throw that in there. It's super cool. So we're, that's gonna be our used car dealership or maybe our classic car dealership. I don't know, once we get the town going, we'll figure it out. Right, buddy? Yeah. What's your favorite part about it? <laughs> Starbucks? Why is Starbucks? Oh, you're too. You're a little too young for Starbucks, aren't you? That's Mama's favorite place, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Your favorite Splunkers. Yup. Let me show you guys this uh, notch that I built. I actually built this. This right here. So this is how it actually started. I pretty much just stripped this thing down, tubbed it, painted it up, made it look cool. He just loves sitting here playing. I'm pretty much building everything and he's been sitting here playing the whole time. But our next step is pretty much gonna be lay out our roads, get them painted, figure out what we're gonna do. But before we can actually do that, I'm waiting for two more pieces that are gonna be over in this area. So I don't wanna lay out the roads and do something because you know I may get those pieces and wanna flip flop something around, move something. 
you know, what happened? Uh, tape. So once we get those two final pieces, we'll get all that figured out. Then we'll finish that up and we will update you guys on the status. But as of right now, let me know what you guys think. If you, if you have any ideas, please drop them in the comment section because some of you guys may think of some stuff that we didn't even think of. We have a few other ideas. We're going to do like a little junkyard area, like a barn find. I want to make an area for like a barn find. I also want to make an area for the C10 with like some grown up grass and a field. And if any of you guys have dioramas or diorama stuff that you want to share or even help us out, just send it. My P.O. box is in the description below. And if anyone sends us anything, message us on Instagram or Facebook. Let us know so we can be on the lookout for Whoa. it. Whoa, where's the Supra? So I'm thinking about, we might have to do a train track on here for the Fast and the Furious scene. What do you think? As of right now, with the way everything we kind of have laid out, I'm talking about just getting another, getting another table and expanding it out right here. Just, just to give me a little more real estate for a couple of the things that I want to add that I don't think we're going to have room for. We're going to figure it out. But as we do this, I will share the process with you guys. This has actually been a super fun project for Logan and I. You like doing this, don't you, bud? Like every day when I come home, this is what he wants to do is come in here. When I build this, because a lot of people that you see that build these things, they Build them to just put on display. We're building this thing to play with, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I was watching one guy on YouTube, because I've also been watching these videos on YouTube. I was watching one guy. He was gluing his cars down to the board. And I'm like, what are you doing? You remember that video? Mm -hmm. You were watching it with me. Logan was getting upset about him gluing the cars. I was just like, oh no. Like, that just took the fun out of it. It's cool, isn't it, bud? Mm -hmm. Well, it's that time in the video. We are going to go ahead and wrap it up. And if you're new to the channel... Make sure you hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to see more of these. We'll probably create a playlist like we normally do with different types of videos because we have all different types of videos on the channel. So I try to categorize them and put them in their own playlist to kind of keep them together. But that's it for this video. We are going to go ahead, wrap it up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.